It's Bonnie. Happy Tuesday. Check it out. I'm on my morning schedule again. I'm so excited. I'm going to try and get back to my regular schedule here. Um, it feels like a Monday today. Does anyone else like think, oh my gosh, today is Monday? I'm thinking it's Monday and it's really, really strange. Um, it's Tuesday. It's kind of dreary out. I'm looking out my window over here and the leaves are getting a little orange. I like this window here next to me in my new um, setting here because in the winter I can I can see like a sliver of Lake Erie. So it's, it's kind of nice. By the way, check it out. Cole's shirt for Halloween. I love this one. It's super cute. Got the witch hat, got the broom. So I painted my nails pink to match my shirt today. So I'm kind of feeling nice and folly for the week. Um... Whew, we got to talk about uh, the Bath and Body Works sale today. Six ninety five on moisturizing body wash, body butter, and scrubs using the code Soft Online in store. You need the code. Is this a good deal? It is. However, um, the product selection is kind of dismal. We're going to talk about these scrubs because. Um, I think Bath and Body Works needs to redo uh, their scrubs, and I'll tell you why in a second. And then um, there's not a lot of like scent choices. We're going to talk about that too. Um, I think the best deal today is like the Coco Shea, the water, and the oatmeal, and the aromatherapy. So we're going to talk about scrubs first. Oh, Bath and Body Works, they need to do a complete overhaul on their scrubs because it's so frustrating to not ever know what scrubs are going to be available. I think years ago, they actually had a better system. Like this was, I think, two years ago. We had uh, champagne, apple, and honey, marshmallow, pumpkin latte in the creamy body scrub, which I love. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Now we don't even have marshmallow, pumpkin latte. The uh, champagne, apple, and honey is in the foaming sugar, but that's the only fall one we got aside from um, together weather. So this is just so bizarre. I feel like they're mismatched. So the problem with Bath and Body Works scrubs is you either get the formula you like or you get the scent you like. And oftentimes the two do not meet. So for example, a lot of people like the creamy body scrub. By the way, I want to redesign on the packaging. You ever have these in the shower and the water gets under here and then you pick it up and it's not even here in the shower, but still the water comes out. But like, say if you're at the sink and you want to use a scrub, you pick it up and it leaks everywhere. I can't stand this packaging. I would prefer if they moved over to, um, the tree hut tubs. I love these, by the way, this is pumpkin spice latte. This one smells really good. I love Tree Hut for scrubs. I got to say, they do a really good job. Or um, they could use these types of tubs. Uh, Lush uses, you know, a, the, the screw-off lid. Oh, this is, I got to do this, Toil and Trouble. This one's excellent um, from Lush. So I got to say, um, in recent years, I, I have not been all that excited about Bath & Body or scrubs because I can never get what I want. So this is champagne, apple, and honey in the creamy body scrub. The creamy body scrub is this white formula. I'm going to show you. It's real thick when you put it on your hand. It's a good formula. I got to say, I've always liked this one from Bath & Body Works. Um, it's a very thick cream, and there's an exfoliation in there, but it's not super harsh. Um, it almost feels like, you know, little sand particles. And the scent is always good on these. I got to say, I love the... Um, I love to set. It lingers for a while. So I, I like the creamy body scrub, um, but you never know when you're going to get the creamy body scrub. Right now, it's in Chasing Fireflies. It is in, um, oh my gosh, these are all over the place. What else do we have creamy? Oh, Japanese Cherry Blossom. And then Among the Clouds. Yes. Okay, so if, if you don't like one of those and you like the creamy body scrub, what do you got? You got nothing. <laughs> so then we have the exfoliating glow scrub. That one's the one that's got the really like pearlized shimmer. It's not quite as exfoliating, um, but it's very bubbly. Like it'll like, you know, lather up in the shower. It's a nice formula. That comes in champagne toast. It comes in in the stars. Um, let's see. The Endless Sea, and then 
Let me see what other ones. Oh, A Thousand Wishes. So what I'm seeing here, oh, and Dream Bright. So I'm seeing almost like the signatures and, um, you know, a couple other ones. That seems to be exfoliating Glow Body Scrub. So if there is any type of pattern here, champagne toast, you know, it seems like the, you know, standard signature scents exfoliating glow, which is fine. However, if you want exfoliating glow in a fall scent, you're out of luck. So what they did this year is the foaming sugar, and I don't even think I have a foaming sugar around. That's the one, um, the scrub is actually like red or pink. It comes in a different color, very large sugar crystals. And, um, they feel harsh when you first put them on, but then after you, you know, add the hot water, they kind of just melt away. Not a bad formula. I've always loved the foaming sugar body scrubs, but we only have this in champagne, apple, and honey, together weather, and, oh, gingham and gingham gorgeous, which is interesting because those are kind of like standard, but it's not the exfoliating glow. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, so that's it. It's weird. Okay, then we have the weird sand one. I don't even use that one at all. That's the wild sand and at the beach. It looks like sand. It makes a mess in the tub. I avoid that one completely. That is not my favorite scrub. So then they have um, the aromatherapy scrubs, which actually are very nice. Eucalyptus spearmint is a little on the oily side. It's really, really um, intense. They've got um, the salt body scrubs, which I love. In Neroli Blossom and Eucalyptus Lavender. And then they've got the Shea Sugar Scrub. I have one of those around here somewhere. In Lavender Vanilla. That's a really nice formula. I gotta say, I love it. Like I said, the problem is um, all of these are just all, there's no consistency whatsoever in the Bath and Body Orc scrubs. I personally think you're better off at this point just waiting for Christmas. Unless you're a huge fan of champagne, apple, and honey, I would just wait it out. Because the Christmas scrubs usually do they whip the day. Uh, <laughs> I can't say that. The whipped confetti scrub, which is a good one. I like that. I don't know what they're going to bring out for Christmas this year. But we usually get Twisted Peppermint, Vanilla Bean Noel, Winter Candy Apple. So I'm holding out for Christmas on the scrubs. Although the $6.95 is not a bad deal because they're normally, um, they're pretty they're pretty expensive. They're you know, like, what, $19? Um, so that brings us to the body butter. So let me talk about, I'm going to filter the product type. Body butter, we don't have a lot, honestly. We only have 15 different varieties, and most of them are either signature scents or... Um, like the oatmeal or the cocoa shea. These are my favorites. These are actually $20.95. So if this is something that you use a lot and you love, I actually like this oatmeal one. Very nice thick formula. I love the scent on this one. Going into winter, I do like this one. I do have one, so I'm not going to stock up today. Um, the scent is very light. It's supposed to be for sensitive skin. Uh, my mom and my daughter love this one, so that's a yay for me. Um, again, if you like the Coco Shea or the water formulas, buy these today. I, I still like the Coco Shea scent. It's wonderful. It's a little bit summery for me. Uh, water, water's always been a good one for me. So the other body butters they have are um, Chasing Fireflies, Champagne Toast, In the Stars, Together Weather, Champagne Apple and Honey, Gingham Gorgeous, Butter, Butterflies actually like my favorite, Among the Clouds, and then the Aromatherapies, which is like the Neroli um, Blossom Bergamot, Mimosa Spearmint. I do have a couple of those. Not bad formulas, Champagne Toast. But again, um, not a lot of fall. Like, why don't they ever make pumpkin pecan waffles in a scrub or a body butter? I don't get it because I know people would buy those. That would be really popular. So the final thing um, that they have on sale today is the moisturizing body wash, which I do love. I'll have to say moisturizing body wash as we go into winter. I've actually been using my strawberry pound cake a lot lately. Those, are, those have gotten pricey. Um, $18.95 for the Coco Shea. Uh, let's see, $16.95 for the regular one, $17.95 for Chasing Fireflies. They do have a decent amount of variety. They still have strawberry pound cake. 
Butterfly, all the signatures, uh, Into the Night, Dream Bright. So if you're in need of the moisturizing body wash, again, great day to pick it up. However, and I've been, I'm going to say this in a lot of my videos, don't over buy because Christmas is coming. I mean, this is like a great online, I think that, oh, this isn't, no, this isn't, I'm like, it's an online deal. Last night, was that last night? Oh my gosh. No, it was the night before. Was it online only? This is an online in-store deal. Um, you can do buy online, pick up in store, save yourself some shipping. That's always a good deal. So um, again, you know, it's a good deal if you need it. If you don't need it, think. I always say think before you buy too much going into Christmas because Christmas is going to be crazy. Uh, no candle sale going on today. I really hope if you got candles, you got them this weekend. I'm burning praline delight right now. I need a candle this morning. Um, you might want to uh, burn one of your $12.95 candles today. <laughs> Just ignore Bath & Body Works uh, because the candles are $26 today, which is not a good deal. So anyway, uh, let me know if you're shopping the sale. Like I said, I think a lot of people are just um, kind of holding out for Christmas. I think a lot of people have probably already got, you know, stocked up from some of the sales, but if you haven't stocked up, again, shop these single price sales because it's always the best deal. And it's always good to have, you know, like I said, a body butter scrub sale. They've been doing these more often, I'll have to say, which that's good too. Um, these are good. If you're using these a lot, this is a good stock up, obviously. So um, I'm going to pass today on the sale. I'm waiting for Christmas and I'm just going to, I'm going to do use it up on my entire stash of fall. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm hoping Beth and Body Works changes up the formula on their scrubs soon. That would be really good. Anyway, uh, happy mid-September. It's almost mid-September. I can't believe it. Uh, I've got Praline Delight next. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.